Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be solving the Hanayama disc puzzle, which is another level two on our level two streak of Hanayama puzzles, which is completely unintentional. That is a level two out of a possible six on the Hanayama difficulty scale. And our aim today is to separate those two discs from each other. Once we've done that, we will then, our second aim is to reassemble them back into their original position. And once we've done both of those, both of those things, we will then place it on the leaderboard based on how difficult I find it. We currently have the easiest puzzles down here, the hardest puzzles up here, and everything in between. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so here is the disc puzzle. Obviously, our aim is to separate these two discs from each other. And we'll have a quick look at the box, as we always do. So we've got here the World Puzzle Designers Forum held in August 2000 in LA was where I first met my close friend Oscar. This puzzle is based on a disc-based puzzle that he showed me at that time. Battling it out with this puzzle is like putting your mind to the test against one of the world's sharpest minds in Oscar. The idea is to keep in mind, or the idea to keep in mind here is circle, which recently I've found that those, those uh, keywords or themes or whatever it described it as in the last sort of four or five puzzles that we've done, don't really help in any way. Uh, right, so what have we got? We've got this here and our aim is to separate. So first thing we need to do is figure out how these are going to separate from each other. So what is different? Where where do we think these are going to solve? So the things that we can see, uh, we've got little indents in here. This bit here is shallower. This indent is the same on this side. This is shallower, this is shallower, this is shallower, this is shallower in comparison to this bit, this bit, and this bit. And they don't match up on the opposite sides. Here, we've got that shape there. Ah, so, these are all slightly differently shaped in here. So first of all, where do we separate? Possibly off there and there. Possibly. But, hmm, yeah, maybe it, maybe it's definitely off there actually because maybe we have to go all the way around. So here, for instance, that fits through there. That fits through there. Ah, this is quite interesting. So this is where the different thicknesses and stuff work now, obviously. Thin bit there, thick bit there, would require a certain sort of shape in here to move around. Uh, so, I'm going to try and keep a track of, of which disc is which and where we're going. So, so we've got the honey hammer engraving to differentiate the disc, or each disc from each other, and then hopefully I'll keep a track of, of which side is which as we are looking down on it. It might just be like we alternate going around. So my first aim is going to be to try and get to here just to see what that does. We are now there. And now can we get this bit to there? We might have to do some backwards and forwards before we can do that. This is actually pretty clever. I quite like this. There's not much... Uh, thinking about this going into it but yeah this is nice I'm wondering what these little grooves are for now actually that's that was the first thing I saw but and the same thing in here as well what are, maybe those are to just get the discs together actually those grooves in there and possibly those grooves in there as well actually because they're they're opposite each other yeah so I think those are just so that the discs rest like next to each other uh, when they're in their original position. So far there only seems, it seems to be like a, you go one, it's almost like one continuous twisting around rather than sort of being able to go backwards and forwards. Mm 
Ah, and there we go. So it was those two. It was those two getting those two things opposite each other. Uh, it, it was quite a trial and error process of separating those all to, to get into that point. But yeah, happy that I sort of identified that pretty much straight away. And um, yeah, so I just worked our way around to that point and, and separated them from there. Nice and clever again, but relatively straightforward to take apart. Uh, but that's only half the process done so far. Now we need to put them back together. And let's get straight back into doing that. So we've got those bits and those bits. So we connect in here. Now, if only it was as easy as getting this bar turning once more around to there, but I imagine it's not going to be as easy as that. I'm going to go the long way around. Yes, it is. And there we go. Yeah, see, those, those grooves in there are just so that, that each disc sits nice and snug in each other. And there we go. So, all done. Now we just need to place the disc on the leaderboard. So there it is, we managed to disassemble and then reassemble the disc puzzle. It was always going to be sort of like a trial and error way of, of moving one bit, moving another bit, moving another bit, two bits, two times on and one time on, until, uh, I mean I figured it out fairly early on, oh, it wasn't that hard to figure out, you just look at it and see the difference. Uh, the, the bit with the grooves was probably going to be the bit that where those two discs separated. Putting it back together was, was very much the same process. Try it one way, try it another way. Clever how it sort of one bit doesn't fit through another bit. You can't just spin it all the way, spin it all the way. But now what we need to do is, is place it on the leaderboard based on, on how difficult I found it to do. We're definitely going to be sort of at least lower two shelves, if shelves, if not bottom shelf. So we'll start by, we'll start at the, the left hand side of the, of the second shelf. Are we easier or harder than the cage puzzle? And I think we're easier. I think the cage puzzle is a little bit tough. The cage puzzle is very awkward in sort of trying to get that star piece out. Onto the bottom shelf, are we easier or harder than the ABC puzzle? And I think we're easier than the ABC puzzle still. The hashtag, are we easier or harder? For that one, I think we're probably harder. I think the hashtags are a relatively easy one to do, so. So there we go, that's yeah, nice and simple. We are gonna be between the hashtag and the ABC puzzle. And there we go, our work with the disc puzzle is done for today. We've disassembled it, we reassembled it, we placed it on the leaderboard, done. Give me a few weeks to practice, I will perfect the, the easiest, shortest way to, to solve in the disc puzzle. And then, yeah, you will see it in a, a disc puzzle solution video in a couple of weeks time. And thank you very much for being here. If you want to see me solve any of these other Hanayama puzzles, all the step-by-step -step solutions to all of them, then be sure to click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace!